So someone recently asked me, what does a turbo do besides just create boost pressure? So to answer that question, first we gotta understand that the turbocharger is an exhaust driven air compressor. So exhaust comes over here, spins this wheel. And when you spin this wheel, you can see it spins the compressor wheel on the other side. That's what takes fresh air from the air filter, compresses it and sends it to the cylinders. So you put more air in the cylinder, you make more power and you're able to burn more fuel. So that's the basic concept of what a turbocharger is designed for. But the turbocharger is now capable of doing things that uh, are more than just boosting. So let's start with engine brakes, right? So an engine compression brake works by using the compression stroke of the cylinder as the piston is coming up that is compressing that air so that slows the engine down and as long as the engine is still connected to the drive wheels that's going to slow the whole truck down and then you open the exhaust valve at the top of that compression stroke and psh, release that compressed air so now you don't have a power stroke so the engine's doing all this work come piston coming up compressing air and all that compressing air is slowing the truck down so how can a turbo help well, if you put more air in the cylinder, it's going to be harder to compress it, right? So during engine braking, what the turbocharger can do is pump more air into the cylinder, making you compress more air, making the braking more efficient. And then the other thing that it does during braking is that these types of uh, uh, turbos, they cr when you create more boost, you create a little bit of an exhaust restriction. So the exhaust flow is going to have a harder time getting through this housing because we're going to make it spend more energy to spooling up this turbo. So not only is the compressor side compressing more air into the cylinders, making the braking more efficient, it's also making it harder for the exhaust to leave the engine, making the braking more efficient. So that's the first thing that a turbocharger can do uh, besides just create boost. It can help with engine braking. Another thing that it can assist with is exhaust gas recirculation. So EGR is when we put some exhaust gas back into the intake. Sorry, hiccup there, push the wrong button. So EGR, like I was saying, is when exhaust gas goes into the intake and it displaces oxygen in the cylinder, which reduces combustion temps and helps you prevent emissions like NOx. So what happens though is that on the intake side you have boosted air in the intake manifold going to the cylinders and it can be kind of hard for exhaust to force its way into that intake stream because of the boost pressure so by creating a restriction over here on this side with the turbo you can actually raise exhaust back pressure which will help the uh, egr force its way into the intake with the help of things like venturis and egr mixers and stuff like that so it can help with egr and then the other thing it can do is anytime you create a restriction and restrictions tend to create pressure and heat and so when you're going through a regen, uh, this is going to supply more boost, which is going to make the engine run hotter, which is going to create a restriction here, which is going to make the exhaust even hotter. And that helps to regen the diesel particulate filter, helps to burn the soot down to ash. Um, so that's just a couple of things that the turbocharger can do and help with besides creating boost. So I hope this helped answer the uh, question that my friend had, and I hope he enjoys this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will make them. You just comment what you want to see. You're going to get a video on it because I don't have anything better to do. That's the laugh. All right. Uh, have a great day. See you guys later. Bye.